We're coming to you day three from the CATF here for X Games 2022. It's time now for Women's Skateboard Street. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my partner, Amelia Brodka. And Amelia, I'm so excited for this one. A stacked roster in Women's Street, anchored by the most decorated woman in skateboard street history. Of course, I'm talking about Leticia Buffoni. Leticia has not been competing recently, but right. she was not going to miss the X Games. She won it last year. Her runs were solid. She skates fast. She's consistent. And she's the queen. Yeah, if she adds another gold medal, she will climb up the ladder. You can see tied for third with the most overall women's medals. 12, Jamie Anderson on the women's side. Here is her victory from last year, though, Amelia. Skating the whole course, just putting a solid run together. And she really, really is stacking the medals. And she's paved the way here for all these women. Well, speaking of paving the way, sort of a torch passing. The sensei to the student, Haisa Leal, is truly the future of competitive women skateboarding, winning gold at X Games Chiba. She just came off a street league win last week as well, so her confidence is high. She's been filming a video part for April Skateboards and her technical prowess is sure to shine here today. And that certainly won't be the last gold medal that the 14-year-old Haisa Leal will earn in her X Games career, as many expect her to contend for that title here today. But a look at this field, as we said, Amelia, so many good names. I know everyone should keep their eyes on young Chloe Cavell there. Yes, she came out with a video part for the last exposure contest and she won the whole thing, impressing judges like Alyssa Steamer because she skates switch and she can skate street well. But now we have Pamela Rosa starting things off. She is a smart competitor. She has been here before. Hard to believe. Yes, yeah, she's won this event twice before. Hard to believe at 23 years old, Amelia, this is her 15th X Games appearance. It's really incredible. I personally love watching her skate because she skates so fast with so much power. She seems to get more tricks in with a shorter amount of time because of how fast she skates. Beautiful back smith down that stair set. Six X Games medals for Pamela, as we said, two of them gold. The last time she won though, was back in 2016 in Austin. I really like that half cab nose slide up the step up. To pop off fakie and go up the gap and onto the ledge, that's definitely a tricky one. So for her to throw that in her run, it's definitely risky, but she's looking like she's really happy with that one. A solid first run for Pamela as we take one more look. That is a tall rail, Brandon. That probably goes up past her waist, so the fact that she's doing that front smith so easily is incredible. So Pamela's first run in the books. We're just getting started here in our Women's Skateboard Street Final. And there you see Funa Nakayama. Funa got first at the World Street World Skate Skateboarding Contest in Rome just a few weeks ago, and she's really known for this very pinched front nose grind and she just has a great style and she's very consistent. Just 17 years old, it's her third X Games appearance. She's our is. silver medalist from X Games Chiba, Amelia. Wow, to start your run with that front nose grind on that huge rail, that's, that's gutsy, I love it. And that front feeble, just pinching that back truck so perfectly on the rail. Going on the back lip. Oh, right into a front blunt down the stairs. It's absolutely incredible because you're sliding backwards and the risk factor on that trick is very high. Oh, going for that heel flip front board at the end there. That's a tricky one. Sometimes you can actually kick the rail just trying to flick onto it. But we've seen her do it before in some contests, so I'm excited to see her doing this run. Yeah, we take another look, and as you said, Funa has had some really great contest finishes so far this year. The first in Rome, a second at the Copenhagen, Mo Copenhagen Open, excuse me, just a month ago. I love that front blunt slide. And now we have Momiji Nishiya out of Osaka, Japan. Olympic gold medalist. 
That's right, at the inaugural women's skateboard street, Momiji came out on top last summer. I love that big spin front board. The way that she sets her feet up so close together to get up on it is very interesting. On oh, the Suski grind, that is that is a trick that is not done enough. So the fact that she just did it was awesome. And right into that front feeble, down the handrail, and a heel flip. I, just, I love her style. It's so casual, so controlled, so consistent. And it's amazing to see her back here at X Games at 14 years old, by the way. Last time we saw her was in 2019 in Norway. Of course, she took silver, her very first X Games, when she was 11 years old in Minneapolis. Wow, the front salad. Oh, my. Oh, I love it. The Suski and the salad in the same run. Those are just tricks that are not done enough, and she did them so well. There's a reason why. She's got a silver medal here, an Olympic gold medal. She makes it look so easy, Amelia. So casual. I love just how controlled her arms are. They're so relaxed down at her side. And there's nothing relaxing about any of these tricks that she's doing, Brandon. And a lot of the skaters here, being at the CATF in Southern California, do get reps here, but a lot of the Japanese skaters do not. So to see Momiji just take advantage of this course, it looks like she skates it every day. That's solid. It was just so beautiful. It's poetic. No surprise there. Momiji takes over the top spot. Now 12-year-old Chloe Covell out of Australia. Chloe's been doing really well in competitions the past few months, and she's a very smart competitor, and she's the only one that's doing switch tricks like this. It's like, would you ever try to write a poem with your non-dominant hand? Well, <laughs> here's Chloe doing that. Ah, the switch front board. Wow. Wow, front feeble. Chloe's really putting together an amazing run here, Brandon. Last 10 seconds for young Chloe. Oh, front 50. Listen, that rail is probably up to her armpits. It's very big. Yeah, she may be the smallest competitor out here, Amelia. That was a really good but run. But she skates so big. Also should be noted, she skates for Monarch Skateboards, co-owned and founded by Leticia Buffoni and Sky Brown. She's no stranger to the streets either. She's put out that exposure part yep. and she knows how to get down on a street spot for sure. Took first place in that one. Wow, the front 50 on that huge rail. Impressive. Closing in on the 30 minute mark here in our women's skateboard street final. We move on to Pope Hinson from Florida. This is her fourth X Games appearance. She earned bronze here last summer. Post first pro contest was actually at Exposure 2018 and uh, she got second place in her first con pro contest. Beautiful front Smith down the big rail. I know her ankle's been bugging her a little bit. She's just done a few back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back competitions, and I'd really love to see her put a good run together here. Just all, missing that kickflip back 50. All three of her previous X Games appearances netted her a top five finish, including the bronze, as we said last summer. Took fifth at X Games Chiba just a few months ago. Unfortunately, kicking that a one way. She'll uh, try to save things up for run number two. A little bit of a throwaway run for Poe, but she is definitely known to put together solid, consistent runs. So I'm sure we will see a good one out of her soon. And excited to see this next competitor drop in, owner of three X Games gold medals, Aori Nishimura. Wow, I think she went for a crooked grind, but ended up in a no slide situation, but she hung on and made it happen. That was a difficult save. Ari sending them fakey for the handrail. Oh, half cab no slide. Maybe she was going for a no slide on that first rail. A no slide on a rail is 
is a very challenging thing to do because the balance on a round rail on your nose, it can sometimes just completely slip off. Coming for the front feeble. And she'll call it a run. We saw Ori at X Games Chiba a few months ago, but prior to that, Amelia, we hadn't seen her at X Games since 2019. She's had a span of injuries, right. mostly to her knees, unfortunately. So I think she just had surgery 10 months ago. So the fact that she's sending it down these huge rails is... Yeah, we crazy. saw that in Chiba. So it's good to see her out here and healthy. But here is now Yumeka Oda. Yumeka threw down a kickflip front feeble down a handrail at Street League last weekend. And it blew everybody away because it was first try. And we hadn't seen that done by this field before, so I wonder if she will bring that to the table as well. Yeah, Yumeka took second at that street league to Haisa. Oh, I think she was going for either that or the kickflip front board. But either way, flipping your board onto these rails is very challenging. You have to make sure that it completes the rotation, catch it just right, lock it in. And I believe Yumeka's first time traveling to the United States as she has this closer kicks away was for exposure skate, right? In the 14 and under division back in 2018. It was amazing to see her out there. And that ended up being uh, one of the first events for a lot of these girls and women because it, it's open. It's not invite only. So they uh, are able to come get their feet wet. Well, there you see Leticia Buffoni, owner of 6X Games Gold. And for more on her, let's head down to the third member of our team, Victoria Arlen. There's no doubt that Leticia is the queen out here, but she actually said earlier in the week that she doesn't consider herself a favorite this year. She actually said that the Japanese girls are killing it. The level of skating right now is crazy, super good. It's going to be a great contest, and these young skaters are going to be very hard to beat, but I love to see it. Yeah, she's not skating many contests, but her resume speaks for itself, including winning gold here last summer. And simply put, she's the most decorated skateboarder, not just in this field, but of all time in X Games history on the women's side of the million. When I spoke to her earlier this week, she said she wasn't super interested in competing, but the X Games is an exception. She was not going to miss one. She didn't miss it last year. She came in and won it. And she knows how to put a really solid, powerful run together. So it's a pleasure to watch her skate. Nice front feeble. Oh, tail slide fakie. She just kind of ran out of speed, so didn't get to do a trick up that step up there. But she had a fall in the run, so I don't think it's really the one that she wanted but she'll have a few more cracks at it. So that'll do it for Leticia Buffoni's first run here at X Games 2022. One run in, and it's Momiji leading the way, but that puts Leticia up into fifth place. And now we see the future of skateboarding right now. Right. Le Excuse Next me, Haisa Leal, our gold medalist from X Games Chiba. Oh, and just wow. missing that first trick. She's been very focused on filming a video part, so this is a bit of a different approach, the contest skating here. And honestly, we all really want to see a Haisa video part, so. That's all, that's all good that she's focused on that right An now. An uncharacteristic fall right out the gate is really taking her off of her game. And this is not the Haisa we've seen in contests lately, especially right out the gate, Amelia. But she did go for that kickflip backsmith, which I know we all want to see. So maybe she's just testing out a few tricks in the rest of this run. I like that front blunt just doing it so well. And she's going to have a couple more chances. So I'm sure she's going to put it together here. Right. This will be a throwaway run for her, but you just see the trick selection, Amelia, and the skateboarding is so clearly elevated right now in this contest. So we are one run in here in the Women's Skateboard Street Final, and it's Momiji, the 14-year-old, leading the way. More from X after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Whenever 
I was younger, I would definitely experience bullying. Just like living in a small town and stuff and just being like the only girl skater sometimes, it's like definitely a little harder because people are like, oh, like skater girl, whatever. Like sometimes it like gets to you and stuff and like makes you feel a little insecure. But you kind of got to be like, all right, like this is like my life. Like I'm just going to live it how I want to. Other people can kind of say whatever, do whatever, but because like at the end of the day, like you're you and that's really all that matters. Shred Hate, Choose Kindness is a bullying prevention program created by ESPN and the X Games. We're teaming up with organizations across the country who are helping kids, families, and communities stand up for others, respect one another, and choose kindness. For more info, check out Disney.com slash choose kindness. I would say that this division is full of kindness. All these girls are so supportive of one another, and it's just so great to see. It's a community. The camaraderie is unbelievable, particularly in this women's skate street discipline. Run one officially in the books here in our women's street final, and it's Momiji leading the way, followed by Funa, and this young lady, Pamela Rosa, sitting in that bronze medal spot so far, Amelia. Starting off with a beautiful crooked grind, going fast as usual. Nice kick flip up the Euro gap. Oh, kick flip front board that by Pamela. Nice. But wow. as you said, Pamela's pacing allows her to just get every obstacle and get as many tricks as anyone in this event. Oh gosh, she just missed that backsmith. I know that the Getting the kickflip front board out of the way must have been a relief for her, but I think she'll have to throw it in the next one. Oh, I like that caballerial layback <laughs> of the Euro gap. So that'll do it for Pamela Rosa's second run, but take another look. I really hope that she gets us in her next run and has that full pull that she wants. Because watching Pamela at full speed is definitely super exciting. Funanakiyama in her third X Games appearance, sitting in second place right now. What can she do, Amelia, to, to push Momiji a little bit here and perhaps launch into that first place spot? Honestly, she's a smart competitor, so I'm sure there are plenty of upgrades up her sleeve. But gosh, just that front nose grind is just so beautiful. Front feeble. Whoa, I cannot believe. I think she was going for nose blunt, but she got her truck on. Either way, I would love to see her land that. I think that was the upgrade that she was looking for in this run. Oh. Oh, just sticking on that crooked grind. So that'll do it for Funa's second run. Let's take another look, courtesy of the Pacifico skate cam here. I think I called it a front nose grind, but I'm pretty sure it's a front crook, so I'm so sorry about that, Funa. The difference is that typically with the nose grind, you don't always have your nose all the way down on the rail, just your truck. But with that one, she definitely pinched it in a crook. So here's our current leader, Momiji Nishia. Making it look like a walk in the park, starting off that big spin front board. Oh, and the Susky. Gosh, I just love that trick. Shows you a lot of board control. The fact that she was ready for a heel flip so quickly <laughs> off of that was very impressive. Quick feet. And I know we said it in run one, but there is such a, a simple casualness to her skateboarding, much like Shane O'Neill, who won his first gold medal yesterday in the men's street event, but there's just a level of confidence to her skateboarding that allows Whoa! her to do things like that. Wow. The big flip front board. I really want to see that go down. I did not see that in practice. And she's smiling big because she knows that she's going to get it next run.
How close was she to this? God, she was so close. Just looks like oh. her feet weren't quite ready for the roll away. Duh. She had it. My goodness, if she could put that run together. I don't know what's above first place, but that would be it. I think we all just want to see that trick, regardless of even if it's in a run. It's just an amazing trick. Now, Chloe Cabell, who I, I thought had a superb first run, and it's got her outside of the podium. Not sure what the judges want to see from her here, but if she can up the ante or clean some things up, this will definitely get her on the podium, Amelia. Honestly, she's the only one skating switch down right. handrails just like that. That switch front board just making it look easy, but that's her non-dominant foot positioning. So the fact that she can even get up that rail switch is very impressive. A regular footed skater. She is putting it together once again. Last 10 seconds. Going for the big rail. Oh, the stair set actually. Kick flipping down that stair set. That is very risky. Anytime you flip your board, there is a high percentage chance that it might not flip the way you want it to. So she took a big risk there, and I really hope it pays off. So another solid run for the 12 year old. The youngest in our field. The switch front board. It's excellent. That's textbook. It doesn't get better than that, Amelia. Honestly, she skates switch so well that unless you're really paying attention, it doesn't even look switch. And that's what you want as a skateboarder. That shows true mastery. That's that P-Rod level of switch skating. And Chloe moving up All into right. that bronze medal spot, leapfrogging Pamela Rosa. Well deserved, Chloe, well deserved. So we move on to Poe Pinson, sitting in eighth, was a throwaway run on her first attempt. She's fighting some ankle pain, but She's flipping her board. She said she hadn't done a kickflip in over a week last time I spoke to her. So it's a good sign that she's able to use that ankle in that way and hit the big rail. She got bronze here last year. It's her first X Games podium. Beautiful kickflip back 50. Having a little headphone dysfunction there, but hopefully it doesn't throw her off. Excellent front feeble. Ooh, the only one hitting that long yeah, rail so nice. far. Back 50 by Poe. Excellent. I'm so happy to have seen Poe put down that run. Lots oh. of variety here. A full pull for Poe po Pence and take another look. That's a beautiful tray flip, Brandon. Mm -hmm. No doubt. And as you said, it, she's hitting rails, she's hitting features that not everyone else is doing. She's taking a unique line, adding some flat land. I love the way that she does that cross lock on the rail, which is basically her back truck is against one of the wheels and her front truck's against the other. Gives her a little bit extra stability and balance on that long rail. And Poe Pinson just taking third place away from Chloe Cavell. They're standing next to each other. There you see the medal count so far here at X Games 2022. This is a tough competition, Brandon. A lot of capable skaters. Yep, getting the truck on that time for that cricket grind. Aori Nishimura, as we said, owner of three gold medals in this event. We saw her a few months ago at X Games Chiba, still just a few months removed from knee surgery. And there was a little bit of a timidness. I know you were there. You probably saw it firsthand in her riding, which is totally natural. So is she even more comfortable that much further removed? from the surgery. Wow, I mean, she is stepping it up with new tricks like that half cap nose slide, but it's hard anytime you spend time off of your board, you have to readjust. And some of these things that they're doing, they're scary, you know, the big stairs, the rails. And if you don't do it for a while, it's something you have to practice and basically just trust your body that you could toss it off the stair set and be fine. So that'll do it for Aori's second run. And we turn our attention as we hit the 15 minute mark here to Yumeka Oda, sitting in eighth place. Trying to put down a clean one here on run number two. 
Yumeka just skated amazingly at Street League last week. Starting off the front blunt. Had to fix her feet a tiny bit there. Had to fix her truck a little bit there, but she's staying strong. Nice front feeble. Yeah, she kick flipped into that last week down a handrail. It was pretty incredible. I really want to see that. Ooh, kick flip front board. Oh, just getting a little wheel bite, a little front foot heavy there. She had a part in the Plan B video code, which was released just last week. Always great to see these girls also getting in the streets, also getting in the mix and putting out video parts and clips. Ooh, beautiful overcrook there. And sometimes just landing something after a throwaway run does something for the confidence, doesn't Amelia, for that next run? Absolutely, especially a trick like that. The way that you have to carry your body over the top of the rail and then pinch it with your front toe, it's a very challenging trick just to lock into, but to be able to hold it down that rail and ride away, very, very impressive. And here we go, next stop. Leticia Buffoni, sitting in sixth place. This is her 21st X Games appearance in search of her 13th X Games medal. Another very fast skater, very powerful, very consistent. She knows what it takes to put a good, solid run together. And she's just loving this. She told me she just wanted to come and have fun on her skateboard. And that is exactly what she's doing, and it's really shining through her skating. Well, Amelia, she's at a wonderful place in her career at 29 years old. As we said, most skateboard medals, medals of any woman in X Games history has started her own skateboard brand, Monarch Project. And this is looking like a cleaner run than totally. her last one. Hard to believe she made her X Games debut at 14 years old back in 2007 in L.A. She actually came out here thanks to the Poseidon Foundation for her first yeah. X Games event. And then she just wanted to stay. She just said, I'm going to stay here. This is an amazing opportunity. And thank goodness she did. Where would we be if Leticia hadn't stayed after her X Games? What a question. So much better for Leticia than what we saw on run number one. But we turn our attention now to Haisa Leal, who, by the way, 6.4 million wow. Instagram followers. That's the largest reach of any X oh Games competitor. My goodness. And you see why with tricks like that, Amelia. Yes, starting off with flipping into a back lip and a back 50. Her first two tricks, oh, and, and going for the kick flip backsmith. She is not holding anything back. She is going for gold. She's not a safety run no. type of skater. Took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, already with two bangers. And she keeps trying oh, oh, to up the ante, Amelia. That was so clean, the heel flip front board. Oh my goodness. She is not shaken at all by missing the kickflip backsmith. She's just going for it. Wow, that I mean, is a sneak peek of an incredible run right there. At this point, Amelia, she can only really be judged against herself. Look at this. Who starts their run like that? That's amazing. The risk reward there. Really hoping she gets a full pull. So we shall see Momiji still leading this way as we close in on the 11 minute mark here of Women's Skateboard Street. More from the X Games here at the ZATF when we return. X Games is brought to you by GEICO. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. We're a couple of runs in here in the Women's Skateboard Street Final at the X Games. The ladies absolutely <laughs> destroying this course here at the CATF in Vista, California. And there you see Leticia Buffoni, who is the most decorated woman in X Games skateboard history. Let's discover more, brought to you by Pacifico.
when I was 14, I got invited to come to Los Angeles to compete at X Games. I spoke no English. My dad was like, this is the opportunity in life. We have to go. We're supposed to stay here for 20 days. My dad went back to Brazil and uh, I ended up staying. I've been here for 16 years now. X Games changed my life. It was definitely a dream come true. One of the most successful ladies doing it out there. The local girl, Leticia Buffoni, skating in front of her home country of Brazil. For me, it was super special to get my first gold in Brazil. Like, have my people there, it was just, it was amazing. I remember when I first came to X Games, I was the only young kid. And nowadays, I'm the one that, I'm 29 and everybody else is like 12, 13. I've been skating X Games for longer than their age, you know? Getting two world records this year for most medals in summer X Games and most gold in street skateboarding, it's incredible, you know? And Leticia Buffoni earns her 12th X Games medal. Winning a gold after 16 years, it's not easy, you know? I hope I can do it again. And Amelia, it's just crazy to put into perspective. Our current leader, Momiji, was not even born yet the first year that Leticia competed at the X Games in 2007. Honestly, Leticia, is, she takes care of her body. She knows how to stay strong and fit for skateboarding because tossing yourself off stairs on the daily is really hard on you. Sure. Absolutely. So here's Pamela Rosa dropping in for her third run. Starting off with that beautiful crooked grind. Let's see if she gets this kick flip front board. Oh, just missing it. Oh, that is unfortunate. She did in her last run and then fell on a different trick. It's always tough when you're trying to throw in more flip tricks and, and upgrade your run. Getting that backsmith that got away from her last time. Amelia, Pamela's first run was so solid, but the level of skateboarding that has transpired here today has her all the way in sixth place. Flipping your board more certainly makes a big difference, which is why she's wow. going for that big spin front board down the big rail, but it's also why she was wanting to have that kickflip front board happen in the run. And it just shows the progression of skateboarding, particularly in this discipline. That first run she had probably would have gotten her a podium not many years ago. And right now she's got her work cut out for her with so many good skateboarders in this field, including Funa Nakayama, who's sitting in that silver medal spot. You're right, the rate of progression is really incredible in this field. I mean, a front crook down a huge rail like that, we would not have even seen that two years ago. Under 10 minutes to skate with here in our final. Momiji has led since her first run. And here's Funa sitting right behind her. Oh, she got all the way over the rail that time. She hit her truck last time. So she did get the lock in, but she was just a little bit behind it. So it got away from her. But wow, a nose blunt slide down the handrail. That's the kind of progression we're talking about. Getting the crooked grind. And that stair set, that rail, that's no joke. I, I hope you're watching, oh my gosh. <laughs> I loved that, that was great. I hope that perspective isn't lost watching on TV. This is, this is big. Honestly, I am excited for when we see from Gregson's view because it really puts in perspective. These obstacles are huge. I mean, that rail, as you can see, it comes up to her hip. So second place is where Funa will stay. And now our current leader, Momiji. Starting off with that big spin front board. Hoping we get to see the big flip front board later. Beautiful Susky. I love that she's doing these tricks that are often overlooked. But they're overlooked for a reason. There's a very specific lock-in point on them in which if you miss it, it's going to ruin your whole run. But she's just so precise. She's got it so dialed. Even doing that front shove out of that 5-0, yeah. that's, that's a risk. And 
She's making it look really chill. Last 10 seconds for Momiji. Will she make the big flip front board? Oh. Just missing it. She's still in first, though. I know. She loves competing, but she says she doesn't care at all about contest pressure. I want to bring smiles to the people around me by skateboarding with a smile and having fun. Momiji, you are bringing a smile to all of our faces out here today. Honestly, for a lot of these skaters, it's about what you can do that's better than what you did last time. So they're really just competing against themselves. And that's kind of what skateboarding is all about, just trying the next next trick every time you get on board. So Chloe Cavell, our lone Aussie in the field, she got up to bronze medal spot on her previous run only to be bounced one skateboarder later by her friend Pope Pinson. Can she jump back up in a podium position with all of her switch skating? She did just kickflip out of that front 50, which she didn't do before. So I think that that was an upgrade on her run. And getting the switch front board perfect every time. She's just making it look very easy, which it's not. Oh, going for the kickflip front board. She knew what she had to do. She knew she had to flip her board even more than she already is. And she's not holding back. Wow, front feeble. Now remember, that rail, it goes up to her armpit, basically. So the fact she's tossing her little body up there is <laughs> very impressive. All four foot 10, 68 pounds of Chloe Cabell. This, kick flipping out of that front 50, and then going right into that switch flip. And switch front board. The tech is there for Chloe Cavell, but she does not move up. I know she definitely looks up to Shane O'Neill a lot and works with him sometimes as well. You can tell in the way she skates. So Ooh, the late shove. Poe Pinson sitting in that bronze medal spot on her third run. I really love the late shove. It's you're basically spinning the board on the way down instead of on the way up, which makes it that much harder and that much riskier to throw into a contest line. Oh, just missing the tray flip that she was doing so beautifully before. But it's always great to see skaters put down their runs because then you see them trying to upgrade them later. And right. Really not holding anything back. She earned bronze here last summer. And she's in that same position once again with six minutes to skate with. Well, Tuesday afternoon, we'll have the first women's Euro semifinal. Sweden takes on the host team England. And Wednesday, France plays Germany in the second semi. Coverage of both matches begin at 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific with a 3 Eastern noon Pacific kickoff on ESPN2 and ESPN+. So Aori Nishimura. Sitting in eighth, yet to find that full pool, Amelia. If she can just put it together and regain the magic that she's had so many times here at X Games, it would be really special. Right, she is no stranger to the X Games podium, so she knows what she needs to do in order to get back up there. Although it's changing with every event, you've got to step up your tricks every time, but she definitely has some unique ones like this one from half cap into the nose slide just slipping out it's looking a little bit discouraged hopefully we'll see another run out of her ending it with the front feeble there a little front shove so that'll do it for our third run See Sky Brown out there, fresh off her gold medal performance in Women's Skateboard Park yesterday. Here now, Yumeka Oda. Yumeka, I love how she's starting off with that front one. She has to gap all the way over the rail in order to lock into it and then slide backwards. So it's a risk. Walking into that front feeble. Mecca setting up for something. Oh, the kick 
foot front board. Wow. Riding away so clean, Brandon. Easily her best run of the day so far, Amelia. She fit that backside flip in up the Euro as well. Every time you flip your board, you're taking a big risk. Oh, ending it with a back nose grind. Down the big rail. That was a solid run. It for really Mecca. was. And a sense of relief for the 15 year old who finally puts down something solid here today. This was just so beautifully done. And we haven't seen, aside from Momiji's attempt at the big flip frontboard, we haven't seen anyone else flipping into that rail. No, I'm so sorry. Ray said flipped into that rail. She's a heel flip frontboard on it. Mecca just missing out on the podium at X Games Chiba a few months ago. Had a fourth place finish, but that jumps her all the way up into the silver medal spot. Wow. Well earned. That was an excellent run by Yumeka. So Leticia Buffoni. Sitting in fifth right now. Taking a different approach to her run this time, starting off with that front feeble. Almost got away from her, but she saved it. She's smiling. She knows she's still got plenty of time on the clock. Still looking to add to those 12 career X Games medals. The board just got away from her a little bit on that back lip. But there's a perfect back lip right there. Redemption. She's always hustling, you know? She gets off her board and she'll run to the next drop-in zone. Right, and last run, it looked like she was putting together was just running out of time if she had just gotten a little bit more. That will do it for Leticia. You know, it's pretty tiring. You're already having to stay on your board for your whole run, but if you're jumping off your board, you're running to the next spot to drop in, you probably are forgetting to breathe, and for the the fact that she's doing that, I mean, she oh, just the breathing so chill. part, I so, forgot about yeah, that. Now. Breathing's great. Haiza <laughs> Leal, I can't believe I'm saying this. Run number three into this contest, but she sits in eighth place. Rebate? Wow. Will they give her another shot? I hope so. Yes, they will. All right. Wow, starting with a kickflip back lip. We're changing it up to the crooked grind this time. The difficulty meter on this run is off the charts. Absolutely, taking that front blunt down the rail, setting up for that middle handrail. Oh, beautiful heel flip front board. Clock doesn't officially start, by the way, until you attempt your first trick, so she was good. Oh, excellent. Oh, no, she just missed the kickflip up the Euro. She could have done that in her of course, sleep, Of I'm course, sure. that's the trick she gets hung up on. She's probably already thinking about the next trick. And that back lip down that huge rail. And again, this is the tough part, I think, if you're a judge in this contest, because you see the difficulty is unlike anything else you're seeing from any of the competitors. So how do you judge it even when there is a fall, if it's even on the most basic of tricks? Right, I mean, we saw the heel flip front board, we saw the kick flip back lip, and she just missed a, one trick, just one kick flip. But, you know, it made up for it. She's getting into third right now. Yeah, and even with that, she jumps up into the bronze medal spot. And I want to let you fans know to check out the Ashad Wear by Pacifico Sweepstakes for a chance to win a prize pack that includes a limited edition skate backpack, a satchel, which I'm very hyped on, soft cooler, pins and stickers. Follow at Pacifico Beer and at Ashad Wear on Instagram and comment on Ashad Sweepstakes post using hashtag AshadXPacifico to enter. Gotta get that satchel. Well, we're three runs in, and guess what, folks? We're getting a fourth. Fourth and final run time here in the Women's Skateboard Street Final. And Pamela Rosa wasting no time, Amelia. She never wastes any time. She goes so fast. Dropping in. I think the clock operator said, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh, bummer. Oh, just catching that kickflip primo, which is very uncomfortable for your feet, for those of you who have not felt that feeling. 
Oh, and trying redemption at that kickflip front board. She did land it in her second run, but unfortunately didn't stay on the whole run. That would have really upped that first run score. I love the way that she pops. She just has such a snappy style. You saw in the way that she got into that lip slide. She's got quick feet, she's got a lot of power. So that will do it for Pamela Rosa's day. Unfortunately, she won't add to her six career X Games medals here in the Women's Skateboard Street Final. But Funa Nakayama, who had been in podium position most of the day until Haisa Leal's third run knocked her out. She's now sitting on the outside looking in Amelia at fourth. She's eyeballing that big rail, so we might see something new out of her here. I love the way she processes the motion before me. Oh, beautiful front crook. She makes that look so easy, but it's, it's very hard to walk into. It's a dangerous trick. And the front feeble. Using lots of different features here. The nose blunt slide, she got it this time. That one is so challenging. You have to ollie all the way over the rail in order to lock your nose in. And even just holding your nose in on a round rail is very challenging. Kruger grind down the big stair set. Still got a couple seconds. And that really for cool. Funa, I, I think it just comes down to quality over quantity, Amelia. Less tricks than a lot of the skaters, but the difficulty is there. Look at this. She's got a great heel flip. Love to watch that. So this may be her best run of the day on There's her final the run. Slide. Yes, it was definitely her best run. We'll see what the judges think. Maybe she doesn't skate quite as fast as some of the other girls, like you noted, like you noted earlier. But she did fit lots of really great tricks in. So it'll be interesting to see what the judges think. And fourth place is where Funa will stay. But a great showing from her today. Right, because she did do the nose blunt slide, but that's the same rail where Haisa did a heel flip front board. So that's, that's hard to beat. But will Momiji beat Momiji in this run? <laughs> Momiji has been in first place since run number one. And if she can land her ender, <laughs> wow, stays on her board. She may be just about untouchable. That was a great save. I don't think she meant to 180 out of that, but she did, and she stayed on anyway. I love that. I even love how she does the front smith on that quarter pipe, whereas a lot of people just use it as a way to just turn around. She actually does a trick on it, which is great. And this is what we really want to see, the big flip front board. Oh, oh so close, Amelia. So close. She's laughing though. Not many people can fall down a set of stairs and laugh. So, but she knew that she was really close to that trick. I mean, she almost was riding away, but her feet were just not quite ready for it. So still a smile on her face. Sky Brown again taking it all in after her gold medal performance yesterday in Women's Park. Watching her street counterparts put it down. Chloe Cavell who all of a sudden, <laughs> because of the, because of this, the increased level of skateboarding, Amelia, hard to believe she's sitting in seventh place right now. That's crazy to me. But she, is, she knows what she has to do. She's flipping her board way more. She's going switch, no one else is. And so far, it's looking like a really solid run. And she's landed all her runs. Kickflip front board. That one got away from her last time, but she got it this time. So that's now, you know, kickflip front 50. I'm sorry, front 50 kickflip, kickflip front board. And now she's going to kickflip down this. There's a yes. That was an amazing run by Chloe. 
She definitely upgraded from her first run and from her second run. I really wonder where that's going to put her. There were upgrades on the trick selection. She cleaned things up. I, I, I mean, if this is seventh place at the X Games, then this is the best street skateboarding contest I've ever seen in the women's discipline, because this is incredible. I love that she threw the kickflip front board in there. That's going to make a huge difference. And kick flipping down the stair set. No one else is flipping their board down the stair set. Little hand touch, but hopefully the judges don't paid on her too much for that. Second place. Excellent. So proud of Chloe. That wow. was incredible. Chloe Cavell jumps all the way up into the silver medal spot. There you see Gary Rogers is hyped up. What a showing for Chloe. And it should be noted, Chloe here with her dad, Luke. This is Chloe's first time in the United States, Amelia. She's actually staying with Sky Brown. Oh my gosh. What a great tour guide to have. And finally, it all comes together for Chloe Cavell. We've been talking about it sitting in that seventh spot all the way up in the second place. But here now, Poe Pinson sitting in sixth. Poe put together a really good run earlier. We saw her try to upgrade it on her last run, not quite getting the full pull. She's having some ankle issues, but oh, just missing that tray flip up the Euro. Again, I, I just want to bring our attention back to Chloe. You just talk about the perseverance, skating well all day, and then strategy. Figured out, hey, let me up the ante, let me bring a new trick into this thing, let me clean stuff up, and it paid off. Absolutely, because I thought her first run was really good, and I had no idea she had even more in the bag, and I think she shocked everybody, even herself. You saw the surprise look on her face when she was rolling away. Could the 12-year-old earn a silver medal? We'll find out. But Aori Nishimura sitting in ninth. Aori pinching that crooked grind with the front truck there. Will this be the run Aori wanted? She has not done a full pull here yet. Okay, all right, already the making of her best run of the day. Going in fakie, so popping backwards and then landing in no slide, which on a round rail is definitely a risky move, but she rolled away so clean. Aori Nishimura. Wow. Saving her best for last, the Amelia. Front nose grind at the end. This. No one else is doing that or anything even remotely similar to that down that rail. That's going to definitely set her apart. And the front nose grind so perfectly locked in on her front truck. Just as that trouble staying on her board all day, which is so uncharacteristic of her. And we wondered when we'd see the classic Aori Nishimura that has won this event three times before and showed us a little bit of that here today as she jumps up in the sixth place. But now Yumeka Oda, who's sitting in that bronze medal spot, Amelia. We know that she has some really advanced tricks up her sleeve. I wonder if she's going to try to throw them into her run. Oh, and oh. she goes for the kickflip front feeble. It almost looked like she would have preferred to do that on a bigger rail. She kind of ran out of room there a little bit. But there, there we go. She stepped it up to the bigger rail. I That's would wild. love to see that. Oh, my goodness. I mean, she's got eight seconds left. She could still land that. I think we all want to see it. That is an incredible amount of progression. That's not something we've seen in this field before. She brought that trick to the table last week at Street League. And to catch the kickflip, to pinch in the front feeble, to be grinding down backwards. And it's so great, Amelia, to see, along with Sky Brown, Sakura there after going down so hard with that slam in Women's Skateboard Park out here today. Those women are warriors. And Sakura's smiling. She's happy to be here. She's already talking about the next contest. So 
so glad she's all right. So Leticia Buffoni, our defending gold medalist, owner of six X Games golds, is sitting in eighth place right now. It's her final run. Started off with a front feeble down that middle stair set, locking that back truck in. 360 flip up the Euro. Backsmith. Hustling to get in her next position. That back lip. You have to pop your back truck over the rail, and that's a tall rail, and then slide down backwards. Yes, the front tail fakie up the step up. That was her upgrade. She has not landed that in her runs yet. Last trick time for Leticia. The feeble. Wow, hitting that middle rail. Honestly, when I talked to her the other day, she said she, said she was not going to touch that rail because we were talking about how they changed it a little bit. It's a little taller. It's a little mellower. So, so by I'm far, sure. Leticia's best run of the day, as we said, not competing a ton this year, not really focused on that, but because it's the X Games, of course, she was going to come and try to defend her title. This was a really good run out of Leticia. Yeah, some vintage Leticia Buffoni here. Beautiful feeble grind. I love that she ended up hitting that rail. The elder stateswoman of the group at 29 years old. So good to see her put a full pull down here on her final attempt. Absolutely. At X. Stepping it up every run. Always great to see. But now we turn our attention to Haisa Leal. Considered the favorite to win this contest. She's sitting in fourth place. This is the final run for Women's Skateboard Street. I love that she's not about just trying to land a run. She wants to run, land the best run that she can. So she is just going full tech with every trick like that. Kickflip back lip right into the kickflip back 50. Kickflip front feeble responding there to Yumeka. We would have definitely loved to see that, but she is not done yet. We saw with her last run, she did have a fall, but she still was able to get herself up. Oh, just missing a hit for front board. And that's going to do it for Haisa, which guarantees Momiji Nishia her first X Games gold. Well deserved by Momiji. Her style is just incredible, the way that she's so relaxed on her board. It just looks so beautiful. And it's cool to see, again, all the love and support amongst this field. A lot of encouragement from everybody, but let's look at Momiji's gold medal run, Amelia. I love that she started her run with a big spin front board. And gosh, this salad grind, nobody else is doing that. And she, you basically have to ollie over the rail, pinch your back truck onto it, and grind down backwards. We had not seen the 14-year-old Momiji since 2019, but now in 2022, she wins gold. Chloe Cavell takes silver, and Yumeka Oda with the bronze. Let's head down to Victoria Arlen, who's with our gold medalist, Momiji. All right, thanks, Brando. I'm here with Sky Brown, who's going to help translate for me. Momiji, this gold medal, like, how excited are you right now? Uh, this gold medal, She's too happy. She's super happy. <laughs> now walk me through that epic run you just did. Uh, yeah, she couldn't get the trick she really wanted to, but yeah, she's sick. <laughs> it was crazy. Congratulations, Luigi, and thank you, Sky. I love it. Sky <laughs> pulling double duty this weekend, winning gold in Women's Park and translating in Women's Street. Congratulations again to Momiji.
for getting the win. And Amelia, uh, she might have said she didn't land all the tricks she wanted to, but this was about as good as it gets in a women's street contest. Honestly, a lot of the time, the battle is between yourself and just wanting to land those tricks that you want. And that's what we saw here today. Her going for the big flip front board. Well, congrats to Momiji on the gold, but we're just getting started here today. Coming up next, the Pacifico Skateboard Vert Best Trick. But first, we check in with Jack Mitrani after the break. And a, and a message from our AV.